Welcome back, Bowling World fans. Today, we're going to be drilling the new Hammer Bowling Ball that is releasing on July 8th. This is one of two. And that ball that we're going to be drilling today, as the title says, is the new Hammer Dark Web. Now, we're going to be drilling the new Dark Web. We're going to go ahead and put a layout on it of 65 by 4.5 by 85. I want to give myself a little bit of a smoother shape in my bag, especially with Nationals coming up here in the next couple weeks. I have a whole bunch of bowling balls I've been drilling, and I'm trying to figure out and narrow down what I'm taking to Nationals and my whole entire week that I will be in Vegas. So if you guys are looking forward to those videos, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below to be able to check out all the Volexo vlogs that we'll be coming out with that week. So let's get into drilling the new Hammer Dark Web that, again, releases on July 8th. So. Let's get to it. Whoop. Now, here's an often asked question in the pro shop itself, and that is pin up versus pin down. Now, this layout in specific, we went again 65 by four and a half by 85, but as you can see, my pin is still above my fingers, or that dot technology is still above my fingers when it comes to the layout itself. Even though we went with an 85 degree bow angle or the back angle of the layout, which made this pin technically pin down, but it's still pin up. Now, that always has to do with the relativity of how you throw the ball or what your positive access point and your tilt is versus the actual layout itself. So for some people, it will look pin up. For some people, it will look pin down. But in my case, they all look pin up, even if I went with an 85 degree bow angle, which is realistically the lowest or biggest angle that I would go with when it comes to the back angle of my layouts, or for that case, any customer. I don't really have any customers that I've ever drilled something with a 90 or 100 or 120 or even higher back angle or bigger back angle because of the fact that it makes the ball roll a little bit funky after you get past that 90 degree valve angle. So yeah, pin up versus pin down, something I'm trying to crush. You guys give me your thoughts down in the comment section below and tell me what you guys think of pin up versus pin down. Is it really a thing or is it just a thing of numbers? Do you understand the numbers well enough to understand that it's just gonna matter depending on what your positive access point is? Or are you just a bowler that likes to put something pin up or pin down over your ring finger, middle finger, above your bridge, below your bridge? Tell me your thoughts. Drop them down again, comment section below, as always. Uh, we went ahead and drilled this up. We did the vacuum inserts as always. We went ahead and glued in our Vice PO black inserts. You guys can catch those right there in the top right hand corner or down in the link in the description. As always, we went ahead and glued those in. We cut them down as always. Let's go ahead and talk about the specs of this bowling ball here in the next clips and get it over onto the lanes. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and talk about the dark web and its specs. To start off with, we have the modified spheroid core, which has an RG of 2.514 and a differential of 0 0.048. And then that is wrapped around with the aggression solid reactive resin cover stock. That has a finish of 500 and 1500 Sire micro pads. Now, this ball looks absolutely phenomenal. I cannot wait to get you guys to see this ball going down the lane. Now, I bowled on the regular old house shot here in AMF All-Star Lanes in Kenner, Louisiana. So let's go ahead and get it on the lanes for you guys to see it go down the lane and see what it can do. I definitely think this is going to be one of those pieces that is going to go with me from tournament to tournament. I am filming this a couple days before I leave for Bowl Expo as well as Nationals. So this ball is definitely going in the Nationals bag. I already actually have it sitting 
like literally like right over here. I'm not gonna show you guys, but it is definitely going to nationals. It's going to Bowl Expo with me. I'm super excited. Let's get into the video. Let's do it. Ooh. Now, let's go ahead and talk about this dark web on the lanes. Now, this ball definitely reads a lot heavier throughout the whole lane. It reminds me of the web tour whenever it first came out, but it reminds me of it in a stronger shape, kind of similar to the Obsession Tour, maybe a little bit smoother overall and a little bit more rolly overall than my Obsession Tours. My Obsession Tours have always been really stronger off the spot versus this more rounded earlier shape. This is kind of like the stealth. It's like a step down from the stealth where it's a lot earlier and more overall. But because it sees it earlier and smoother, it comes off of the spot a little bit differently where the stealth kind of comes off of it a little bit more sharp and a little faster. This ball is a little bit earlier, smoother, rounder, allowing me to control my angles a little bit easier. I've been loving this ball so far. I shot a, set, a 670 series already with this ball, which is pretty big with the fact that the lanes lately have been playing a little bit more hooky with the summer getting into action. The temperature of the bowling center is skyrocketing, which is nothing we can do. It's one of those things. It's getting hot outside. The bowling center gets a little bit hotter. And overall, there's plenty of people in my bowling alley bowling at the same time. Whenever I'm bowling league, I bowl a Sunday morning league, which has over 40 teams and a Monday night league that has over 60 lanes running at the same time. So it gets a little bit hotter, but this ball is definitely absolutely phenomenal. I'm super excited to take this ball to nationals with me. This is 622, so two days before I leave for nationals and bowl expo and all the crazy stuff. So make sure you guys, again, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, because there is going to be some crazy stuff going on this year. We're going to try to do a bunch of videos while we're all at bowl expo, so I hope you guys enjoy those. But this ball, absolutely phenomenal. Go ahead and re watch the rest of it going down the lane. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Let's get into the rest of this one. All right, guys, and that is the new Hammer Dark Web. Let me know down in the comment section below what do you guys think of this new Dark Web and if it's gonna go in your bag, and if so, where does it fit in your bag necessarily, and what do you think you'll be using it on? Is it gonna be on those heavier oil conditions like sport patterns? Are you gonna be using it on the house shots to be able to blend out that wet dry a little bit more, or just to give you a nice benchmark, stronger shape in your bag? So let me know down in the comment section below. Hit that like and subscribe button. As always, turn on those post notifications. If you guys wanna get this ball today, make sure you guys go to bowlingworld.biz and get yours right there, right now. And as always, I appreciate you guys as always. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, talk to you later.